Welcome to our series of Church Controversies, and this is episode 5. In this episode, we will explore miracles that are performed in churches and look into how these miracles are performed in reference to what was performed during Bible times and see how much Satan has inspired so many people, so many preachers and prophets to perform fake miracles in the church. And we know very well that our church today is a creation of the Europeans and Americans in the aim of enslaving and colonizing the black man. Now, Africans are so much colonized and brainwashed at an extent where they put all their hope in the church. They don't even work. They don't even need to get employed because they will just pray to God and God will provide something which is very unrealistic. And here are now miracles being performed everywhere. Now we see many pastors and prophets performing a lot of miracles. They have gone into the business of deceiving their own members so that they can enrich themselves. And other pastors are impoverishing themselves through this church politics. Look at this example here. Church members are beating the devil and his demons. The pastor is instructing people to beat the earth and say the earth is full of demons and, and devil. You wonder which kind of faith is this in African society? We have been given this earth so that we till it, we cultivate it, and it will produce food for us. But now we are casting the same earth in the name of the devil and the demons, and say in the name of Jesus, we beat you. How can you beat a, a, a spirit using tools? You beat a spirit in the physical level. It can't happen. All this is happening to deceive the people and make them busy in the business where they get nothing. Wherever you are, wherever you are, people are you will hear other members and, and people around the communities complaining about what the pastors are doing. Pastors are uh, traveling all over, coming from different places to go and deceive members and only in the aim of getting themselves rich. They forget that Jesus was not a white man. And that land in Africa is the land of Israel. But they preach different gospel. And they do that because they want to get rich. And they can't only make it in that simple way. They have to sophisticate it so that it looks something special. Wherever you are, and wherever you are. Say it, it is a spiritual matter. Wherever you are, wherever you are. Receive. Receive. People are but people are receiving nothing. People are receiving the voice of the prophet. And the prophet is collecting all the offering from the people. Let's look into this matter, my dear viewers. Look at this kind of miracle. This young pastor is trying to fight the woman, claiming that the woman is demon-possessed. How did you know? How do you force someone in the form of fighting? Now my question comes, did Jesus perform such kind of miracles? Fighting with members? Fighting with demons? If you can't rebuke demons using your voice, using spiritual power, then you don't have to be wrestling. This is more than wrestling now. Look, more than wrestling. And, and now is dehumanizing the lady. My people, you need to wake up. This is insane. Did Jesus do such kind of miracles? No. Did Elijah, Elisha, and other prophets do the same? No. Where are we heading to? 
my people, my black people, my Bantu people. Hey, we are finished. Look at this other pastor here, the white man here, trading Jesus. He doesn't know that Jesus was a black man, and some of them know, but he's getting rich. He has come up with a strategy to make people pay tithe every Sunday, to make people even pay tithe using their credit card. He has even put after post at the entrance and is, is now very rich. The options uh, for your giving uh, are behind me on the screen. So there's a range of different, you can use the app, you can text in to give. Is there an FPOS machine? There is an FPOS machine just up the back. Fantastic. Do you believe this strategy has been put in place by God? No. These people are serving their own agenda. They want to get rich and that's all. And all the kind of miracles they perform around, those are just trying to fool members around and make them believe that there is something. And furthermore, they are faking these kind of miracles to convince the crowd that there is power of God here, but there's no power of God. These are strategies that have been put in place to enslave members. To, to suck all the money from members and enrich themselves. Watch, watch this. Mama, the Boba G Award with Jesus. 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 And then I will leave you with a, a testimony from another pastor in South Africa who states clearly how it happens when he was to be initiated in that occultic power and he was able to make people fall. He went to Nigeria and all those stories. It's a long video, we cannot play all of it, but at least listen to what he has to say. I started befriending these other uh, people. Most of my friends were, were from outside South Africa. I was, I was closer to Nigerians. You know these Nigerians. Uh, uh, when I was closer to them, and because I saw what they, they, they symbolized, it, it was success in ministry. They were driving big cars, and they had this sense of authority. Their churches were big, and some of them, they've got big titles. So I thought that by associating with them, it would also lift me up. And I remember the other day when I spoke to this other prophet. I said, man of God, I really want the power that you have. I need the anointing. You know, from the Bible college, you think of Elijah and Elisha, that if you serve this one, if you polish their shoes, if you wash their car, if you carry their Bible, what they have will come upon you. This is what I did. I was closer to them. But one thing I discovered, this is what destroyed me by that time. It was their lifestyle when you come closer to them. It's full of sin. These people really, they are not saving the God that we serve. And I remember very well before we traveled to Nigeria, they, they gave me certain soap and say, when you go to church, you use this. It was a black soap inside a plastic. It was very smelly. And they said you should bath with it on Saturday, 12 o'clock. Saturday, midnight, 12 o'clock, you should take a bowel, fill it with water and get there and you bath. When you bath with the stove, they said I should start on top of my head. That is where they said my destiny is. And I got inside church and when I walked inside the hall, they clapped their hands. They did not know that I have used the black soap. So sometimes when we see all these things that are happening in our churches, in the body of Christ, sometimes we think it is the power of God but I want to tell you as you are listening to this testimony that what I have went through did not symbolize the power of God. Miracles are performed in Africa. Not all the miracles are true. Many of those miracles are fake. And some 
of these powers have been through Euro-American contracts, including Freemason and other institutions. And then what they do is to gather money and preach fake and false gospel, promoting the Middle East as Israel, while Israel is back in sub-Saharan Africa. This is episode 5 of Church Controversies series. And what does the Bible say in 1st John chapter 4 verse 1? The Bible says, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. And these prophets are performing miracles day and night. How do you test the spirits? You test the spirit through the truth, biblical truth. One, you need to locate where Israel is. If you are able to know where Israel is, you number two, you have to know who are those true biblical Israelites. Where else are they scattered? Those are the things which will help you to test the spirits. Otherwise, people who are just preaching colonial gospel they are false prophets. And you need to know that. That's why fake miracles are all over Africa and the world. It's very unfortunate that people read the Bible with a different mindset and thinking that all these stories are for white people. And when people like me speak in this way, I'm misinterpreted. People think I hate some people. No. I am just trying to distinguish the truth from the lies which we have been fed for centuries. The Bible in the book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 24 will also say, For false Christ and false prophets will arise and perform great signs and wonders, so as to lead astray, if possible, even the elect. Now we have been led asleep. The elect have been led asleep. The, the, the people of God, the Bantu people, cannot believe that they are the chosen race. They are the chosen people. Then their identity has been stolen and taken to Middle East. There are no lions in Middle East. There are no tall mountains in, in Middle East. All those Bible descriptions are down here in sub-Saharan Africa. But the gospel which we are being preached is far different from the true gospel that Jesus said, ye shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. This is the time I am appealing to all of you, my people, to wake up and take a different dimension and take a different realm of the spirit so that we become free, free indeed. False miracles are happening everywhere, and we know why. Those prophets and, and, and pastors are after money. And if you read the names of their churches, almost all their churches have European names. If not in English, the name is in French or in Portuguese or in Spanish. Very few churches have got African names. Don't you ask yourself why? The church is not African. The church is a European institution, if not American or Asian. Why don't we go back to our roots and worship the Most High, Tatanzambi? Why should we be speaking in foreign languages? While our languages lie down there, undeveloped, it's time to wake up. These miracles are not helping Africa. Africa is growing poor and poor. And not Africa as a land, but his people are growing poor and poor because the miracles being performed there are not helping any one of them. Some people will say, you will be rich, you will get money, but people are not getting money. People are putting their 10% to the pastor. 
It's only the pastor who is getting rich, not the congregation. Why should you sit there for three hours listening to lies, offering your money here after here, and there is no change? Don't you use common sense? Thank you, my people. This video is for awakening campaign purposes. Bless you.